since last year, teachers were forced to migrate from the physical classroom to the online platform. From the traditional face-to-face -face instruction, suddenly we have virtual classrooms. Our students see us on their screens, laptops, mobile phones, TV monitors. It's like watching Netflix, except that it is interactive. As an online teacher myself, I was able to come up with the four aces of online teaching. Fellow teachers, educators, professors, welcome to the wonderful world of online teaching. The four aces of online teaching are the following. 1. ASA 2. ASS 3. AYA and 4. AFE The first and second pertain to our students, whereas the third and fourth apply to us, teachers. Let's go to the first ace. ASA means attract students' attention. And how do we attract our students' attention? Well, it starts with our appearance, our clothes, our backgrounds, with our devices. As to physical appearance, we should look presentable in the camera. For the girls, wear makeup, especially eyeliners and lipstick. You have to accentuate your lips because they appear smaller on camera. And some students do lip reading and they rely on the movement of your lips to understand what you are saying. And yes, even in the online world, our eyes are the windows of the soul. So they should look pretty and bright. Eyeliners and eyeshadows should do the trick. For men, well, we don't wear makeup. But let us see to it that our face is not oily. We can use a light powder. During breaks, we can wipe our face with powdered clear papers or sheets like this one or this one. Instead of lipstick, I use lip balms. With respect to our backgrounds, we should identify a specific area in our house where we can set up a small home office. When the pandemic started, I transformed our lanai into my work from home office space, from plant shelves to bookshelves. For me, this is better than virtual backgrounds. Our genuine backgrounds tell a lot about us, our personalities. It is a way to establish connection with our audience. And we can in fact make use of them as props, like this one. I tell my students that to be a Jewish doctor is their goal. But it should not stop there because they have to take and pass the bar exams in order to get that. The coveted Supreme Court Diploma or Certificate of Admission to the Bar. So that when my students are called to recite, they will be reminded to do better in order to reach their goals. To further improve our appearance, we should have ring lights, soft lights, and a webcam. The quality of the video in the built-in camera in our laptops is usually bad. This is also true with internal microphones. That is why I use an external mic. I love using this lapel because I can move more freely and my audio quality is consistent even if I move around. And if we don't have a school prescribed uniform, we should wear modest, professional looking with solid color clothes. The second ace is ASS. It means appeal students' senses. In the physical classroom, our students could see, hear, and smell us. But in the online world, our students can only see and hear us. We have to connect with them and keep them engaged. Otherwise, they will be bored to death. They are distracted. They are multitaskers. They have short attention span. Why? Because our students are millennials or Gen Z. Also called Generation Y, 
the millennials are those born from 1981 to 1996. On the other hand, Generation Z are those born from 1997 up to the present. And we, teachers, are usually from Generation X or those born from 1965 to 1980. I was born in 1974, so I belong to this group. Some professors are even baby boomers or those born between 1946 to 1964. The challenge, therefore, is for us to connect and engage with different generations, with divergent personalities, aspirations, and predilections. During synchronous online classes, our students are like watching TV. It's like Netflix or HBO, only that it is interactive. So, we should be interactive. I play music before I start my classes and before we resume after our mini breaks. With my camera still off and my microphone on, I play different kinds of music. This is to announce to my students that the class is about to start and that they should get ready by opening their cameras and unmuting their mics. Just imagine their facial expressions when I play the Imperial March or Darth Vader's spin. During roll call for their attendance, I use a bell to acknowledge their presence. We should feed our students auditory sense. To satisfy them visually, I use objects as props. We should feed our students' eyes. I introduce them to my good friend Confucius. I tell them that Confucius once said that I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. In the physical classroom, PowerPoints are king but not in the whole new world of online learning. Physical objects are more appealing to the eyes. They are more meaningful, more emotional. Our students will never forget concepts, principles, and lessons with the use of physical props. As long as there are law schools, Latin will never be a dead language, half empty or half full. Big or small? Yes or no? Zoom or Google Meet? Google Classroom? Group chat? Time is ticking! Keep the fire burning! The third ace is AYA. It means animate your actions. In the online platform, we are not just professors or teachers. We are also mentors, coaches, and whether we like it or not, we are like actors, actresses, entertainers. Again, our students are distracted. They are multitaskers. They have short attention span. We have to sustain their attention, their interest. We have to keep them connected, engaged for one, two, three, or even four hours. It's a show. It's not two-dimensional like a picture. There's depth. It's limited, but we have to maximize our space. Let's forget the past. Move on. Look at the future. We can move to the left or to the right. I have two webcams. Sometimes my space is this. Sometimes my space is this. Near, far, wherever you are, I believe that my heart will go on. On the screen, just like in TV, we look bigger, we gain 10 pounds. Moreover, our energy level is diminished, meaning if we are giving our 100% energy, our audience would see only about 50% or 70% of our vitality. Thus, 
to compensate for the perceived loss of energy, we should be giving more. Our exuberance should be at 150%. And how will we do that? Exaggerate. Establish eye contact more than 50% of the time. We should look at our cameras or webcams, not on our screens or monitors. We should animate our actions, our voice. We should have vocal variety. We should be mindful of our delivery on how we talk, the speed, sometimes fast, sometimes slow, to emphasize, to drive a point, volume, sometimes loud, to wake up sleepy students, to sound emphatic. I don't want to use the word that. Sometimes soft, to emphasize, to drive a point, to be sarcastic. There should be variety in our pitch, the rise and fall of our voices. We are not robots. Our voice should not be monotonous. We should not bore our students to death. Lastly, and the most important ACE is AFE. It means aspire for excellence. As teachers, we should always innovate. We should be open to new groundbreaking ideas. We should improve our delivery, our system, teaching techniques, strategies. As educators, we have no other choice but to keep up with technology for the benefit of our classes, our students. To improve my public speaking skills, I joined Toastmasters International two months ago. I am happy because some of my students are joining too. If there is another profession which is truly noble other than law, it's teaching. It is said that teaching is the mother of all professions. It's not even a profession. It's a vocation. Let's go back to the very reason why we joined the academy, why we became teachers in the first place. This will keep us improving, always aspiring, striving for excellence in our work. This will keep us from suffering burnout. This will keep us inspired and passionate in what we do. What is our why? Online or offline, if we truly have passion for teaching, then everything will be alright. I am honored to mentor others. It is a privilege to be an educator. The monetary return is minuscule but the altruistic feeling that I get when my students eventually become lawyers, better lawyers than me, is priceless. It is divine to think that we are instrumental in the molding of the future generations. My good friend Confucius once said, We have two lives, and the second begins when we realize we only have one. And there you have them, friends. Those are the four aces in online teaching. What about you? Do you have other ideas or strategies to improve our online teaching? I would love to know your thoughts. So please share your ideas and best practices in your online classes, if any, in the comment section below. If you are a student, Kindly share your ideas or suggestions too on how we, our teachers or mentors can improve our online classes. And if you enjoyed watching this video, kindly click like and subscribe to my channel. You may want to click the bell icon too so that you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. Please feel free to share this to your friends. This is your Monday Habit Demands World. Thank you, keep safe, and Godspeed, everyone. And how we... And how...
how do we attract our students' attention? Well, it starts with our appearance, our clothes, our backgrounds, with our devices, with our de And how do we attract our students' attention? Well, it starts with our appearance, our clothes, our back, and we can make use, and we can in fact, and we can in fact make use of them as props, like this one. I tell my students that, and we can, and we, and we, and if we don't have a school prescribed uniform, and if we don't have a school prescribed uniform, we should use, we should wear a modest, we, we should, as long as there are law schools, Latin will never be a dead language. Latin. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. There's depth. It's limited. But there's depth. There's depth. There's depth. On the screen, just like in TV. On the screen, just like in TV. Just like in TV. Sometimes my space this. Sometimes my space. Sometimes my good friend Confucius. My good friend Confucius once said, We. My good friend. My good friend Confucius. 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 